Good morning, folks. We've got continuing particle storms from the sun. The first large-scale literature review of solar indices in a while has come out. We've got our usual wind maps and weather to follow. But let's get to it over at spaceweathernews.com. You know, everyone's having fun and everything's cool until a sunspot starts flexing. You got some lights going up over the last 48 hours above the sunspot groups. We've got a tremendous area of the solar surface covered in coronal holes. Some Earth-sized solar tornadoes were happily dancing over the northwestern limb, but then the sunspots. Northern leads still single, and the developing group behind him got a bit overzealous and overspread his magnetism. No magnetic interaction in close quarters. It was actually the southern group that grew and spawned a mate behind him. Those new umbra on the left are where we see the best chance for magnetic mixing. We're going to watch that growth in 171 angstroms, but more important than the expansion and brightening and flashing like lightning of the sunspot group is its effect on the plasma filament to the north and to the left. The sunspot broke the magnetic equilibrium holding that rope in place, and this morning it appears to be shifting southeast. We'll monitor for any eruption that comes with it. Solar wind is calming nicely, and so are geomagnetic conditions. But those open the door for exacerbation of an ongoing issue, the electron storms. As of yesterday's news, we were only 12 hours into a level 1 event, but now we see that the red and blue lines jumped up a line above the hash storm line indicator, pushing into level 2 storm territory for a few hours. And with calming space weather, we do have an opportunity for continued level 2 or level 3 storm conditions today. Be sure to remember that both proton and electron particle storms are versions of cosmic rays. We usually discuss galactic sources, but the sun is a source as well. And don't forget, you can get to this page anytime through the Disaster Prediction App's info page. Scroll all the way down, click and save the site link. I expect we will be sending out at least one alert today, so have observers alerts active in the notification settings as well. Our top article link today is the only article link today. If you are the type who likes to click the daily links and dig deeper, this one will give you all you can handle. At last count, we were over 10 primary solar indices marching towards solar grand minimum and showing every sign of exactly that. Here you can learn a bit more about just about all of them, plus a couple others we don't normally use, like the coronal index, plague area size, sunspot area coverage, white light at the poles, calcium and magnesium lines, and the dipole, quadrupole, and octopole magnetic fields. Next 24 hours on the wind maps coming up, we're going to see significant weather concerns in the southern U.S., South Island of New Zealand, and moving into southern China in an unusual and fairly concerning manner. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.